Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. Today we are going to start with a new lesson which is interesting and very important in our life. Imagine that your colleague in the class say, Hey, give me something or I want something. I think it's really rude. Maybe she didn't mean to be rude, but I'm sure that you will not take it very well. Some people don't know the correct way or the polite way to request someone. So, today we are going to learn how to make requests or how to make polite requests. And I'm going to show you three simple ways that you can ask polite requests in English by using these models and they are can, could, and may. Okay. Now, usually when we are asking a question or request something, it's for asking if we are if we can do something or we are asking for permission or we are asking someone else to do something for us. All right. There are three keywords that you can use for this pur purpose but in different ways. So let's look at what they are. So those words are can, could, and may. Now, of course, you know those words, and I'm sure you use them as well. But let's be really sure when to use them, and it will be very easy. Okay, first one is can. We use can in more informal situations. What do I mean by informal? For example, with your family, with your friends okay the second one is could we use could in more semi formal situations what do i mean by semi formal situations i mean by your colleagues people you work with or you study with with a sale person in the store perhaps we kind of know that person or we don't know that person too well but it's not very formal situation and the last one is the formal situation when we use may. So what's the formal situation? For example, if you are talking to a client or customer or old person or your manager, then you, you want to be in your best behaviors and uh, use best manners, be very polite, be very formal. That's when we, u when we use may okay <coughs> also we use these models for parents now as children we told that it's very important to ask permission to do anything and everything right remember we used uh, to ask teachers and our mother I think you you still need to take permission from them. So, can I please look at uh, look at this example? Can I please go to the concert tomorrow night with my friend? Here, he is asking for a permission from his mother. Okay, as extra activity, you can do it at home. Imagine that you are in a restaurant. I want you to use the words uh, can, could, and may. You are thirsty. You finished your food and you want to pay. You love the meal and you want to come again next week. Try to express your feeling by using can, could, and may. Or make requests by using them. And these verbs will help you build check and make a reservation and a drink. This is as extra uh, act activity you can do it alone. Okay. Now, look at this picture. We have an example. Can I borrow your pen? Sure, here you go. 
So, can I borrow your pen? She's asking or she's requesting her friend. So, because of that, she used can. Why? Because it's not formal situation, which is informal situations. But here, look at this student. Could I answer the question, please? Here, he's asking his teacher, so because of that, he used could, which is more formal. Okay, now let's guess what is the suitable model for these sentences. Look at this picture. He's asking his manager. So, I show you my new project. So, which model is the best? Excellent. May. May is the correct answer. Okay, look at these children. They are playing. I play with you. So, he's asking his friend. So, he used can. Excellent. Here, these children are talking to their grandma and they are... I help you. So, could is the suitable one. Excellent. And you and here in this situation we can use may too because they should respect their grandma. Okay. Now, uh, <coughs> before starting with the workbook, there is something you should know. If you want to make your su uh, sentences or requests more polite. You can add please to the sentence, like, can I use your computer, please? Could I borrow some money from you, please? So, please word here makes these sentences more polite. But for me, I think please word is not very necessary for formal or polite requests. Could and may are enough. For making formal uh, for making formal requests in formal situations. Now, please open your workbook on page sixty-five and let's do the exercises. Exercise number one: <coughs> read the sentences. Take the sentence which is more polite. Uh, actually, I did it, I did them as columns, <laughs> so we are going to do it as columns. Okay, number one, A, give me an apple, B, give me an apple, please. Which one is more polite? Excellent, B. Three, A, can I ask you a question? B, could I ask you a question? B, correct. Five, A, may I open the window? B, can I open the window? May is more polite. 7. A. Close the door, please. B. Would you be so kind as to close the, the door? Excellent. The expression, would you be so kind, is for very, very, very formal situations. Number 2. A. A please, can I borrow your pen? B. Can I borrow your pen? Yes. A. Number four. Could I have a banana? Could I have a banana, please? Excellent. B. Number six. Could I leave the room? May I leave the room? Excellent. May is more formal. Well done. Now exercise number two. Number these sentences from 1 to 5. Start with the least polite. So here we are going to number them from the most informal to the most formal. Okay. So let's read the, uh, these sentences first. A. Could I have a sweet? B. Give me a sweet, please. C. May I have a sweet? D. Give me a sweet. E. Can I have a sweet? So number one is, so number one is, 
excellent d number two b number three e number four a and the most formal c excellent good job last exercise here we should complete the dialogue with the words in the box here in the box we have nicely please thanks can i give sorry of course magic polite and me gem give me an orange mom mom i'm sorry gem give me an uh, give me an orange mom that's not very polite. Ask nicely. Jen, can I have an orange? Mom, what's the magic word? Jim, can I have an orange, please? Mom, of course. Here you are. Jim, thanks, Mom. I hope that all of your answers are right. And I'm sure that you did it very well with me. Uh, our lesson today is very easy and very simple and it's very important to apply it in our real life. I hope that you have understood everything and if you have any question and if you have anything you want to know about, please send me. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next class. Bye bye.